Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. And in this lesson we will be creating KMS keys that we can manage ourselves. Um, so the command that I will use to create a key will be AWS KMS create key. I'm going to put a description. I'm going to say my uh, well um, description of uh, my key. Right. Let's try this. There we go. So um, that's my key. Now I get you know a whole bunch of stuff that I that I can see here. Origin key ID. It if it's enabled or not. Um, creation date. The ARN of the key, which might be helpful when we um, you know when we try to um, use this key um, and also the key ID which will be helpful now at this point I have the key created uh, I can actually start using this key and uh, but before we use this key I want to do something because when I when I say um, stuff like um, AWS KMS list keys right if I say something like this if I want to find my keys then I can see that um, I can see a couple of keys right I can see a couple of keys but uh, I, I don't know which one is which right I really don't know which one is which so um, for that reason what I want to do is for the key that I just created that I know the key ID is ends with 6F um, I'm going to create an alias, right? I'm going to create an alias, and um, so once again, alias will, you know, give my key an easy name. So, for example, I can call my key my key, and I'll just know which one, um, which of my keys is my key. So, uh, to understand a little bit better, let me show. Uh, so, the command that I will use to create an alias is something like this AWS KMS create alias dash dash alias name and you know this is the format that you have to follow you have to say alias name say alias slash I'm gonna say my uh, CLI key something like this right it doesn't have to be my CLI key but I'm gonna call it this and the target key ID now here is where I'll put my uh, key ID that I just generated right here right so I just did that enter alright right so at this point what I can do is I can I can list my keys one more time with AWS KMS list keys but once more I don't see um, you know my alias I, I can I still can't rec uh, recognize my keys right so uh, the the the, uh, the thing that we can do to make our life easier is say AWS KMS list aliases. Now at this point, right? At this point, I see um, a whole bunch of uh, keys um, on my on my account, uh, on my region actually, US East one that I'm currently in, and. I can immediately find that the, the the key I want, which is my CLI key, has an ID of this. You know, so that whenever I um, whenever I want to find my key ID, which obviously I can't rem remember, um, it's a long, you know, long character. It's like twenty character long, maybe more. Um, anyways, I can remember the alias. So in this case, my alias is my CLI key and um, you know I can find the key ID easily so um, what we did, did was create a key that we can use and create an alias for that key 
so that that key has a alias name which we can remember so that we don't have to remember the target key ID or the alias uh, ARN um, or the key ARN so I hope um, you uh, you understood the, the you know the reason we did this basically just to make our life easier so um, if you want to uh, follow and create a key you can go ahead and create a key but before you create a key I want to give you a warning um, the uh, each key will cost you one dollar on creation basis so it's not prorated right immediately after you create a key you will be charged one dollar per month so um, you know I would encourage you to create a key just so that you can have a key and you can use a key but if you don't use it um, then you know I would say delete it in a month or so so that you don't get charged twelve dollars when you come back in a year um, so that's it for this lesson just to review one more time we created a KMS key we created um, um, a alias for that key so that we can find that key easily and the command that we used was AWS KMS list aliases to get you know list of all our aliases thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video